Hi everyone, I'm Kaylee, and welcome to my channel, Thread and Narrative. I'm so excited to have you all here to my new channel, Thread and Narrative, which is based on my small business, which I launched in June of this year. This channel is going to have a lot of different focus areas and content, primarily in the crafting and design space. Some of the areas that I will be talking about are embroidery, sewing, books, DIY, and design. And in those categories, we're going to be covering a variety of different projects together. I am a beginner, so you're going to be learning along with me as I tackle new projects and try to teach you new skills along the way. I hope that we can create really beautiful things together and learn something new uh, through this channel together as well. So for my first video, I thought a great introduction to this channel would be to create a what I made in 2020 video that encompasses everything that I created this year. So without further ado, let's get into it. Starting off strong with one of my absolute favorite projects that I've created this year is this puffy quilted tree skirt. So I will hold it up here for everybody to see. See if I unfold it, it becomes this very large, beautiful tree skirt made up of 11 different green and gold fabrics in all different patterns. The back is just a plain green cotton fabric and the front is where all the fun goes on and where I have all of the different patterns. I will show you a bit of a close up of all of the different patterns that we have going on here. There's quite a few different ones. It wraps around your tree and it ties using the three ties here that I've placed along the edge of the tree skirt. I actually created this following a tutorial for a project on Joanne Fabrics. Uh, and this is the first time I've ever quilted before, so this was a very unique uh, experience. And I just started sewing over the summer. So taking on this as my first uh, quilting project was no easy feat, but I think it just turned out so beautiful. I'm really proud of just being able to accomplish this and I finished it in just under two weeks which was a huge accomplishment as well so I can't wait to use this uh, every holiday going forward. Next up I have these really cute Sherpa mini stockings that you can see here. The front is a full Sherpa material and the back is a plain muslin material same for the lining it's that same muslin material as well you can see i've sewed in my cute little business tag there too i also added a nice little hook here so that you can hang it on a mantle or wherever you choose for the holiday season i actually created two of these this year and i created these for my two tortoiseshell cats aurora and amelia uh, Aurora, it's her first Christmas with us and she definitely needed a stocking of her own and I couldn't really find any neutral cute small stockings this year at the store so I just decided to create these myself and I actually put up a blog on my website threadandnarrative.com if you feel like you want to create these cute mini Sherpa stockings yourself feel free to head there and check it out it's full of pictures and illustrations to help guide you through the process of making these. So if you want to do so, uh, please check out my website or I'll also leave the link in the description box below. But this was a super fun project. They look really cute on my mantle this year for Christmas and I can't wait to use these next season. One of the other things that I've made this year are these really beautiful monogrammed corner bookmarks. So I hand embroidered these on a felt material. I created two different ones for this year. I actually was commissioned to make these by friends and family. So I don't have them with me unfortunately because I already gifted them this holiday season. So I'll just show you a picture of what the two different 
um, designs that I created were. This was a really fun experience because I've never embroidered on the felt before and I've never embroidered without a hoop. So it was really unique and challenging experience to make these, but I thought they turned out really beautiful and I can't wait to make one for myself. Keeping on the bookmark theme, I also crafted several fabric corner bookmarks that are created out of 100% cotton fabric. I have crafted several of these this year because I like to give them away for freebies in orders placed on my small business, so I include one or two of these in every order. So I don't have any with me right now because I actually gifted them all away this year already for my business, but I'll include some pictures of some of the various designs that I have made so far this year. These are really easy to make, and if you actually want to make them yourself, I wrote a blog on how to create your own fabric corner bookmark. Really easy 10 step process and just like the Sherpa stockings, I also included pictures and illustrations walking you through each step in the process of creating those. So if you're interested, feel free to head to threadnarrative.com on my blog or I'll also leave a link in the description box for you to easily follow. And I would absolutely recommend if you have a book lover in your life or if you are a book lover yourself to create these. They take less than 30 minutes to make one with a standard sewing machine. So I would absolutely recommend giving it a try. Another item that I made this year that I'm really proud of is this tote bag. I've actually made several tote bags this year, but this was my very first tote bag that I have crafted. As you can see, it has two pockets here. I added some really cute pins to the front of this one. And if you open it up, you can see I added a really cute cotton canvas fabric in here from Rifle Paper Company to jazz it up a little and make it extra cute. This was a pretty easy design to create and to follow. So I absolutely recommend creating tote bags. I think they're a really great first project and it was one of my first projects that I had created when I first started sewing over the summer. So I absolutely would recommend to all beginners and I look forward to making various new tote bags in the new year. As a part of my small business, I also crafted and designed multiple bookish related designs this year as a part of my retro, fall, and applique collections. I designed all of these personally myself and they're all on my website to browse if you choose to do so. One of my favorites from the retro collection is this really cute and timeless reader embroidery as you can see here. Really simple, great retro colors. It just says reader in the middle. I think this is a really cute design that can be worn all year round. It is just one of the many designs that are part of my retro collection, but if you're interested in seeing more, I will of course link my website in the description box and I will go through a few of the different designs that I have on my website. So if you're interested feel free to go check those out and I will absolutely be coming out with more collections and designs in the future so stay tuned. One of the smaller and more simplistic things that I created this year were some cat toys for my two cats, one of which was a kicker. So as you can see here, this one is Halloween themed with some cute cats on it. It's of course black and orange for the Halloween season. I crafted this one back during Halloween and as you can tell it's gone quite a bit of use already. My cats love them. They're just filled with some polyfill and some catnip so can't really go wrong with those two things. Uh, my cats really love them. Super easy to make. Just made out of a portion of a fat quarter and then it's stuffed and sewed together. So you really can't go wrong. Super easy project for beginners. If you're just learning how to sew, you can easily test out your stitches and make sure you can sew in a straight line. So I would absolutely recommend this to beginners and cat lovers alike. 
So that wraps up everything that I created in 2022. I'm sure I'm leaving out a few things, but those were definitely the most significant projects that I worked on so far this year. I hope you go and check out my website, threadandnarrative.com, if you want some inspiration to shop some of my products or to read through some of my blogs for DIYs and book reviews. So I will leave that linked in the description box. I hope you subscribe to my channel and follow along as I post videos for crafting and I hope that we can create some new projects together in the new year. I'm really excited that you're here and I can't wait to see you in the next video.